Hey everyone, it is Thursday, March 3rd, and I haven't updated in about three weeks, I think, if not more, and I wanted to give you guys quite a few new updates. Um, for starters, I want to wish you all a happy Kidney Health Month this month. Worldwide, I believe, we are celebrating Kidney Health Month, so drink lots of water, spread the word about organ donation, sign your donor card, donate blood, anything you can do, even just go find out more information about your own kidneys, um, that would be great. So happy Kidney Health Month. Also on the 10th is World Kidney Day, I believe. So um, stay tuned, there's gonna be tons of new things happening then as well. Um, I'll be posting new things on my blog and a few great things. So um, this past month has been filled with amazing news. Uh, as I had mentioned before, my donor has been chosen and it is Mauricio. However, Amy is still an amazing person in my life and her support is forever grateful on my part. I am forever grateful to her. So. Um, the steps have been taken and we're slowly doing this process for my new transplant and hopefully it'll happen sooner than later. Um, for sure, I will be needing something called IVIG. It's intravenous immune globulin, immunoglobulin. Um, so what it is, it's a blood product essentially that helps me reject Mauricio's kidney less, hopefully. And um, that can take anywhere between one dose, which can go over a few weeks, uh, to three months. So once the final dose is done it's within 48 hours the transplant and i will have my new kidney so i am extremely excited um this means essentially i am months away from getting my transplant and i am over the moon um along with all this great news uh dialysis has been steady um i am starting to feel the side effects i notice i'm a lot more tired than usual i've been sleeping lots um relaxing as much as i can doing a bit of physio and just taking it day in and day out, kind of one step at a time. So um, one of the really uh, weird things that happened this month that I think I want to share with you guys was um, a reality check. Uh, almost a year ago now, I started dialysis. And for me, it was this overwhelming experience that um, no one really that I knew was in, on dialysis in my unit. Um, I didn't know what to expect. It was overnight. My kidneys failed and no one knew what to do. Uh, about a week and a half, almost two weeks ago now, I was walking into the dialysis unit and um, in a wheelchair came a friend of mine from childhood who had received his transplant when he was about eight years old. Um, he lost his kidney overnight and it was this like flood of emotions just came into my heart, I guess. And I knew exactly what he was feeling. And I, I, I could just see it all over his face and his family's face. And I knew every single moment that he felt upset or worried or sad or scared or uh, just in shock, really. I, I knew that feeling and I was in it. And it really like hit home because I looked around and I said, just because I know this guy, it made it more real to me. But I sit next to 50, sometimes the other patients, three times a day who are in the exact same situation. We are all on dialysis and we all need a kidney. And it really kind of like opened my eyes and it was one of those things where I was like, this is it. This is the reality. This is what renal failure is about. This is what dialysis is about. Just because we don't put a name to the face doesn't mean these people don't exist. It doesn't mean it's real. It hurts just as much to a person who's been there 18 years to someone who just started overnight one Monday morning kind of. Um, so it hit close to home and it's just kind of gotten the wheels turning and made me think like, what can I do? What else can I do to bring this awareness forward? What, what are we missing? Why aren't there enough donations? Why are people still not getting the fact that we need to sign our donor cards and bring that awareness? So I want to share that story with you because this person I grew up with and was stable just like me and is sick again and that's just one more person on dialysis and that's one more person that I think deserves a kidney. So the message this month, keep your kidneys healthy, please sign your donor cards, donate blood, get your bone marrow tested, I don't know, do anything. There are lives that need to be saved. You don't need to be alive to save a, do like, save a life. If you sign your donor card, it's just when you pass away and you can save tons of lives. Like. One body saves thousands of people, hopefully. Well, not thousands, but you'll save probably about 10 people with one human body. So sign a donor card, spread the word even, wear a green ribbon, bring that awareness to light. I mean, 
we need organs, we need support, we need donations in organs, <laughs> in tissue, in blood. Um, I love you all. Thank you all for my support. Oh, last message. I got another puppy this month. Her name is Bella. My neighbor's uh, dog had puppies and they gave me one. So it's been quite an amazing experience. My second puppy. I'll show her to you. This is little Bella. <laughs> and um, on that note, goodbye and have a wonderful March. I will update you guys soon. Stay tuned on the 10th. I will be on City TV or CTV. And uh, I'll be updating tomorrow with a more proper video. But sign your donor card, spread the word. I love you all. Thank you. And we'll talk soon. Okay? Bye.